Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all of you. Let me know please is my voice is good and it is clear from your side. Is it low? It is high? It's strong? Please let me know. Today our topic is about ethic. But you know, we will try to take it in different approach and try to understand what is really they call it ethic in Islam. Uh, please share the link and before we start I want to remind people I don't keep my videos in my page and uh, some of you complain and I find it very silly to repeat myself over and over and over search for the same topic in YouTube and filter to make it for the last 24 hours post not the last week or last year and then you will find the same video posted in many other channels and those who they are posting my videos subscribe to their channel so you will never miss a video this way we support other Christians who they are supporting us same time the video is there you want to download it you want to watch it you have it so please stop complaining about me taking down my videos so those who download my video right away they will have the opportunity to get more subscribers because this is the only way you can follow up with their post and to show them appreciation in the same time for the work they do now where did you post your video can you share just share now okay after we finish give it three hours share the same exact title posted for the last 24 hours and you will find many Christians they post the same video same as yesterday what was the title yesterday what was the title search for the title yesterday you will find it exactly is still exist in YouTube search for the last 24 hours posted and you will find the video so when you go there to those channels subscribe and this way always you can follow up in what you missed now when you are going to come again to Germany I don't know uh, Jibril did not inspire me yet and I'm waiting for his dishes and today this is our topic you see we hear we, we there is many religions in this world I mean there is endless uh, in India alone there's thousands of beliefs and gods and you know and languages or whatever but I never saw a silly silly cult as Islam today we will try to study how Muslims understand receiving ethic or receiving guidance from God you see ethic is nothing but uh, in religious way it is something we learn from God or God he put in us uh, but usually when we speak about ethic we, we speak about using our brain you know, like I mean, I make a decision what is right, what's wrong. Metaphorically, we can say my heart, you know, like my heart was broken for him, which means my feeling. But in fact, at the end of the day, I'm going to use my brain to make a decision what I would do to this person who need my help. Islam have different way of thinking of ethic. According to Muhammad, two angels, they came to him and they cut his chest. Actually, they cut, cut his neck, as you see in the picture, all the way from his throat, all the way to his balls. And after they cut that, they took everything inside his, uh, his belly, as you see in the screen. And then they installed, actually, you don't see the screen, I apologize. Let us go back. It's my fault. Give me a second. All right, I think now you see it. So according to Muhammad, once he was sitting beside the Kaaba, two angels, and obviously they have a, they are doctors, you know, they can do surgeries. They took him and they cut his chest from his throat all the way to his balls. And for sure, the balls of the Prophet are holy balls. And then after they cut his chest, they start emptying what is inside the chest. And that is very normal. I mean, if you have a trunk and the trunk is full of garbage, what do you do? 
put yourself in their shoes they are angels and they are doing what is right you know we have to show respect to those angels I really respect them they, they knew what they are doing they knew what the job they are hired for so it's very normal it might be appear for you like a, a crazy story but the brothers and sisters this is a true story so the angels they cut his chest and this is the angel as you see he put his hand inside the belly of a prophet Muhammad peace upon him and his belly is holy by the way his his belly is holy I, actually I saw even uh, there is a there is if you can search right now in Google you will find uh, in the Museum of Turkey there's a box that says the holy beard of the prophet the holy beard even his beard is holy okay so we have to 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 like uh, to put that into our consideration that we are talking about a holy prophet who his beard is holy and now his holy stomach is wide open by a knife and now the holy angel is digging inside the holy prophet stomach and he is cleaning what is inside the holy stomach and he wash it with the water of Zamzam, as you see with me in the screen. This is here. The dish has the water of Zamzam. So the angel, he take from here, he throw it here. As you see, this is abundant. Uh, a bad man. Hmm. So here he is taking all his organs and he throw it in the water. And this is the water of Zamzam, which is very famous of, to be full of arsenic. It's poisoned water. And now after the angel, he did all this cleaning, as you see here. Now he moved to the third stage. The third stage is installing a dish of wisdom. And this dish of wisdom was sent by Allah himself. So it's not like something you can order from amazon or ebay so put put that in your hello hello I receive a call i don't know who's calling hello yes yes Okay, I think this is an ex-Muslim, but always you have a problem to call me. My friend, don't call me. Obviously, your voice will never work, and you tried 100 times, and you are an ex-Muslim, I understand. So I have to block you now, because you don't listen. I told you one million times, your mic is not working. He is using, like, a secure for his safety, and this is why his mic will never work. Now. Uh... So, as you see, after they cut his chest and they took everything out, the angel of Allah, he brought with him a dish made of gold. And the dish is full of, there's two dishes inside it actually. One dish of faith and one dish of silver. And then the prophet as you see here he is so happy here he have pain i want you to focus with me how much pain the prophet of allah he suffered for our sake look at this here i mean i really appreciate the prophet of allah look i mean imagine just because he want to help us look at the pain he have look at his mouth and his teeth are going crazy and imagine a guy he is putting his hand in your stomach and you are alive. I mean, you, there's no morphine, there's no drugs, and did not, he did not give him a morphine. This is how much the Prophet of Allah, he suffered for saving us. And we should really take that into consideration if you think to convert to Islam. But I don't know, here, like the guy, the angel, he is putting, pushing his hand too much inside. It doesn't look like it's in the belly anymore. It looks like this is his balls. I, I hope he's not squeezing something not she should not touch. I mean, I mean, the hand is here. 
why his hand is there I hope not anyway so as you see here the Prophet of Allah he suffered really really badly just to save us and here the Prophet finally in the stage of comfort because now they are stuffing his chest and even his throat with faith and wisdom now here I he I have I have no choice but to stop for a second and think about ethic in Islam how Muslims understand ethic based on this story ethic and wisdom and faith because they are connected you know you have faith you know your ethic based on your faith like Muslim ethic is different from a Christian ethic why because their faith is different the Muslim ethic it's okay to attack the neighbors and take their women and rape them and uh, praise be to Allah we jump if we are cutting the throat of somebody according to the Prophet he did that himself unless the Muslim they will say Muhammad was not a good Muslim uh, here you will see the Prophet he is very excited for receiving the ethic of Allah which is coming to him in dishes ethic faith and wisdom now this story can be weird and the Muslim they might accuse you to be a liar if you don't show a proof so we have now we have to go to the story excuse me and because otherwise Muslim they will say to you that is a lie as you see here the Prophet himself he is reporting what happened to him that there is a three person according to the story here three angels I think the one he uh, one he uh, he hold his feet one he hold his hands and the other one was cutting his belly and they took him and then they did the following as you see uh, they carried him and they placed him beside the will of Zamzam from among those three there was a guy his name is Jibreel Jibreel is very well known in Arabia he is the guy like you know like if you go to Italy there's a guy his name is Tony you go you go in the street in Italy you say Tony everybody say you what because every, everybody there his name start with Tony so look like in the time of Muhammad Jibreel as was Tony Jibreel is the pizza guy he deliver anything Allah he want uh, Allah wants something he said Tony Tony is there you know you go to Sicily the mother she say to her son Hey Tony, everybody says yes, mom. Uh, what? You cannot say Tony alone there. So anyway, here Tony, uh, the Jibril, he is the Tony of Allah, and he is the one who deliver anything, including dishes, which make him officially a pizza boy. So Jibril took him, and he was in charge, as you see. Tony was in charge. Jibreel cut out, open the part of his body between his throat, and actually it's not uh, middle of his chest. In different hadith, it says down to his testicles, from here to here, and took all the material out of his chest, Ain't everything, nothing left. Exactly as we showed you in the picture, if you remember, I don't know, most of you are old, you will not remember like me, I'm the only young is here. You remember here? So here it says, you, you see in the picture, he took, he's taken all the material, his liver, his skin, I mean, everything, his heart, uh, his organs, everything. The, 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 the belly became so empty, nothing. I mean, even, even the spare tire is out. So nothing left. So Jibril or Tony, he took all the material. And I like it when the translator, he said the material. I mean, why he want to waste his time, start counting for us what he took off? He just say material. Shall I count for you everything is inside? What we will find inside the belly of the Prophet? Hands of a human being. Ears of somebody he did bite from yesterday. A tongue of somebody he cut a week before. I mean, what we will find inside. So what they said, Take, he took every all the material out just to save time and not no need to count I think you are getting the idea aren't you and then after he cut all the took all the material out and you see here he says the abode men 
and wash it with zamzam. Here you notice that Allah is a very clean God. Allah, not only, look, the surgery here have a purpose. Purpose number one, to wash the organs of the Prophet. Obviously, he is very filthy from inside. Hmm? Now, I change the Muslim to say I am not being right here. I mean, it says it clearly he washed with Zamzam. If the Prophet Billy inside is not disgusting, I mean, why do you need to wash it? Wash what? Holiness? Uh, so they took all the material from his Billy and they start wash it with the water of Zamzam. Zam, 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 zam. You know, each time I see a motorcycle race, I remember Zam Zam. They do this, you know, Zam 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 Zam, you know, Zam Zam. The water with his hands till he cleansed the inside of his body. You see, even the angel here, Tony, I mean, Jibreel, he said he cleansed the inside of his body. And then he brought a golden tray containing a gold ball full of belief and wisdom stop that here showing us that islam is none like any religion there's no religion in the world i never heard of one actually until now if you know anybody knows a story similar to that let me know we have a god who have a messenger the God of the messenger, he sent his Jibreel, which is Tony. And Tony or Jibreel, he have a dish. And the dish is full of wisdom and faith. Now look how complicated Islam is, brother and sisters. Allah is all perfect and all knowing. And if Allah wants something to happen, he say be, and it is. Why Allah did not say be wise and he was? I don't know. This is story is someone he was in Thailand and he did some surgery for his organs. You see, when you do modification, body modification, and if we ask Muslims about mod body modification, they will say to you, it's haram. It's what? It's haram, brother. It's haram. What is it? This is body modification. Secondly, the God who can make anyone or anything happen by saying be, but yet they, they fail to show us how Allah, he said, be to anything. Adam, he was not created by be. Adam, Allah, he made mud, water, sand, mixed them together. He fashioned a, a, a look of a human being. And then after that, he did breathe into him and he did not say to him be. As you see, it took time. Even the story says that Adam, before he was finished, he said to Allah, finish me before the sun set. Because obviously Allah was so slow and Adam was so worried about how slow Allah is and soon the, the night will come. And I think this is the reason we are not perfectly uh, made because it was dark maybe. Maybe Allah, he forgot some screwdrivers here or there. So here you will see Allah, he sent his angel and he brought with him a golden tray. And here I want to focus with something very important. Why Allah, he, you know, like all of us, we knew that plastic is dangerous. How many times I told you don't use a plastic? You heard me before, right? Look, Allah, don't use plastic. Allah, use golden tray. If you ask a brother and sister, Anything in it, he will say to you that the only material will not get rusted is gold, and this is the reason Allah is using a golden tree. Now, here we feel the heavy wisdom and the heavy experience of God. He do not use plastic, his dishes is made of gold, yeah, but in different places, it says silver, and silver really can get oxide. I mean, silver is not really, it's not even, it can be dangerous. Hmm. Anyway, so a gold tray, 
containing a gold bowl. I mean, here we go. Now we have gold, gold, like two gold. There's a gold tray. Okay, hold on. The guy here, he did not draw it uh, perfectly. I have to uh, draw it using my uh, special uh, skills. You know me, I'm very good in, in drawing. So we have a golden tray. This is the golden tray. And in the golden tray, there's a golden bowl. It looked like a cup, but it's a, it's a very big, by the way. It's very big because the wisdom of Allah is really big. It's like, I don't know how many tons. So it's a golden tray. And by the way, I have copyright over this. Don't copy it and try to, to claim it to be yours. I will sue you. Okay. You know how many artists took my art and they claim because so uh, even Jankiz Khan he took my art and I draw something and by the way this is what happened in all videos in YouTube they learn from me my ideas and then they make videos about it which is good anyway but they don't say that I learned this from Christian Prince they claim that they are the one who knows yeah right so uh, a golden ball and a golden tray. Mm. Uh huh. I mean, if you think about it, I have to analyze this information here. Why Allah did not brought the wisdom in a golden bowl alone? Anybody thought about it? Why he have to put it in a golden tray? Anyone have an idea? Any Muslim have an idea? Why it's a gold? Okay, the wisdom is in the bowl. What, what what do you mean a golden tray? And then in the golden tray. Okay, here you will notice that Allah is the God of etiquette. If you go to any fancy restaurant, you will never see bringing you the food in one dish. They put it in two dishes. Is that correct, my friend? So here you will find that Allah is a very stylish person. He's like, man, this guy, he grow in all, like he live in the casinos of Vienna and he is used to go to five stars hotels. And he learned a lot. He learned it's not suitable to bring a dish without putting it inside other dish. The story here need reconsideration. Muhammad here, he is trying to copy something from the Jews. The Jews, if they have a servant and he is not a Jew, the servant should not touch their food. If you go to a Jewish restaurant, kosher Jewish restaurant in New York or anywhere, you will find they always contain their dishes in other dishes. Why? Because the waiter or the waitress uh, he might be not a Jew and you are a Jew. So the cook is a Jew and Then what they do they put the dish inside the dish and then the dish inside other dish and then the So when the waiter he touched the dish he touched the dish outside not your dish. Eh, I mean this is their logic So Muhammad here because this is a very holy dish. It's full of faith and wisdom So there is a dish from outside and there's a dish inside. Now, I don't know how many of you is thinking to convert to Islam because of this revelation. That the God of Islam is very much like etiquette. He is very gentle. He serves dishes inside dishes, which is unique. He's not a savage person, as many people think. Yes, the prophet, he used to have a lot of lice in his head and his panty, but that will not change the fact that he was so clean. To the point, Allah, he needed to send two angels to clean him up. And this time the clean was inside him. 
not outside him. Which means this person, he was a clean, I mean, he was dirty inside out. So here, the angel, he come with a golden tray containing a gold bowl full of belief and wisdom. And wisdom was brought. And then Jibreel, and here I have to stop. I am serious here. I have to stop. I have to take a break. This is very much. This is too much. Jibreel, he stuffed. I mean, do you guys see the word stuffed? He stuffed his chest. And throat blood vessels and you tell me that Islam don't speak about science how how they knew about the blood vessels hmm? actually in Arabic it says like his uh, vein you know but anyway so now Jibreel is pushing things inside the Prophet pushing hard pushing hard pushing hard and he is pushing what he is pushing Two kind of material together. Wisdom and belief. And here we learn that according to the Islamic belief, you receive belief in dishes. And the same for wisdom. Actually, me, myself, I did not learn about Islam by going to school. I order dishes, but those you can find only in Mecca. I order a dish of knowledge about Sharia law and a dish of faith about Islam. This is why I became very faithful. Here we notice that Muhammad is a very legitimate prophet and he don't lie. This story must be true. I mean, there's no way any of you have a little brain, he will not accept this story. You have to accept it. It's very smart. It's very true, and it's very practical. I have to admit that now the prophet, after the surgery, he became a very ethical person. Before the surgery, Muhammad was not wise and he was not faithful. Otherwise, why Allah he needed to send him a dish of faith and a dish of wisdom? And you know, if Allah he chose Muhammad to be a prophet, why Allah he chose the wrong person who need modification? And why Allah, the God, or they call him the Almighty, he cannot make Muhammad smart, wise, and believer without a surgery? Can't Allah stuff his throat without cutting his chest and sending angels to do so? Why the Muslim, they say to us, if Allah wants something to happen, he say be is going to be, but yet he never did anything using that word. And this is additional story where Allah is unable to fix and do plastic surgery for his prophet who obviously he needs some repair. Now, if you remember yesterday we mentioned a story where Muhammad he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind and then I invoked in, in sex and then I invoked my God Allah and then he sent me a dish of anyone remember a dish of what oh okay I will, I will go I will do it like an American style question quiz a, a dish of falafel a dish of uh, uh, shish kebab uh, a dish of hummus which one Kufait, which is kebab. 
kebab but it's a but kufait by the way kufait is not a sheesh really it is like uh, you put it in the tray you know it's like a kebab but it's a beef you know you put it in the tray so muhammad he said he was the most weak person between all mankind and then allah he sent him a dish of sheesh kebab or dish of kufait and he ate it and he got the power of 40 men and here you notice that the same story is repeated again look like dishes is a, a very uh, usual habit in the in the in the action of Allah Allah when he fixed something he fixed it by sending dishes Muhammad he have a sexual problem he cannot have sex and he himself saying I was the most weak person between mankind and then I invoke Allah and then he sent me a, a dish of a kebab I ate it I get the power of 40 here we find the story is very similar Muhammad obviously he have the lowest wisdom and the lowest faith so Allah he decided to fix Muhammad and obviously Allah he have a very portable uh, repair shop not like other naive you know all this style companies who you have to go to their shop to repair you no Allah he have a portable repair shop and employees they come to your door and they do their service in your comfort and how beautiful that is Allah was advanced before all those new companies today they say to you we come to your door and we fuck your faucet So Allah he sent his repair shop employees and the boss there is Tony or let's say Jibril and as you see there are three and here I want to ask myself why Allah is sending three angels to do the surgery if there's any Muslim in the bushes can tell us why they are three Is that like uh, Muhammad trying to say that uh, the God of Abraham he came to him and there was a three men is that him do we have any Muslim in the bushes Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Who is a Muslim would like to give me a call? A Muslim, he is making a threat. What he would do? He would take the dish of wisdom I have. I eat it. <laughs> Try something else. Who is a Muslim? Give me your name in Skype, I will call you. Give me your name in Skype, I will call you. Anyone? You would like to prepare? Uh, this guy is not prepared. This Abdul, he is not prepared. So what he need now, let me, let me give you advice, my friend. Look what this Abdul he said. He can he can smash me. He can smash me, but he need to prepare. And here we notice again the wisdom of Allah. Allah always prepare his followers by doing what? Allah now will send two angels to this guy, and he will they will do for him a plastic surgery, and they will install all the answers inside his uh, chest. Hmm? So don't think he cannot answer me all what he need is to prepare and that's very easy he go home he pray to Allah Allah he sent the three guys and they cut his chest all the way to his balls and then they install a dish of falafel I mean sorry a dish of faith and wisdom and then he will call me back but now he is not ready because he don't have the falafel inside him and it's that that's very logical and we have to accept that this is reality 
I mean, why in the world you guys don't respect a person saying to you, I need to prepare? He is not prepared yet. Now, let us go to Muhammad who is prepared. Muhammad, after they made a surgery for him and they installed a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith, did Muhammad became a wise person? Muslims, now Muhammad, Allah, he did for him a surgery and he installed a dish of wisdom. So now Muhammad, he must be like extra wise. Was Muhammad after the surgery better than Muhammad before the surgery? What do you say, Abdul? Guys, why we have only 273 like? And Abdul, why I have only one dislike? I mean, I, you, Abdul, you are insulting me if you give me only the one dislike. I mean, I am really upset. Only one dislike, me, Christian Prince. What do you say to Allah when you face him in the judgment day? I have no dishes of dislike. I mean, Allah, he provides you all the dishes of dislike you want. Just give me dislike. Come on, Muslims. This is not even fair. By the way, the Muslims, they say to me, you are a liar, even if I am a mute. Even if I say nothing. Just say your name is a Christian prince. And if you go to any YouTube or any chat room and you type something, they say to you, this is a Christian prince. Anyway. <clears throat> So Muhammad, Muhammad, now after the surgery, did he become a wiser? Who is a Muslim when I give us the answer? Did he become a wiser man? Anyone? You can ask your question. No, you cannot. Before you can ask me a question, you have to order a dish of faith, a dish of wisdom. You eat it, you digest it, and then you give me the question. As you see, the Muslim Abdul is smart. He said, I need to prepare. Only Muslims can ask me questions. So Muslims, we want to know what is the point of this story here? Did Muhammad became wiser? Did he become more ethical? Did he become more smart? Here we go. Allah himself, he made a surgery. This is not a doctor. His name Chan Chi from Thailand making a breast. Uh... By the way, there's a verse about this in the Quran. The verse in the Quran says that we sharahna laka sadraka, which means we expanded your chest. Allah expanded the chest of the Prophet. Even the prophet, he have a problem with the size of his boobs. Now, who is the Muslim would like to give us his answer? What is the point of this surgery? And I want any Muslim to explain to me how wisdom can be wisdom or faith can come in dishes i mean what is that is there it's made from what exactly no muslim wanna tell us okay well we have a specialist his name uh dr zakir naik dr zakir naik is a very well-known doctor he have many degrees None of them is suitable for the use of a human being. And Zachary Naik, according to the book of Genesis, he is the most smart 
intellect person exist in the universe today? Actually, some studies, they say that Zachary Naik, uh, regardless of the look of his beard, this is the only thing maybe you will not like, but that will not change anything, that he is really a fantastic person and he is full of knowledge. So if we call Zachary Naik and we ask him what he think about this story about the prophet receiving a dish of wisdom, what the brother Zachary Naik with his red shirt, I mean, I think it was a Valentine Day or something. Red shirt. What is that? Anyway. So if we ask Dr. Zakir Naik about what happened at that day, I mean, how he can explain to us Allah sending angels and they are doing a surgery to the Prophet to install faith and wisdom. Let us hear Brother Zakir Naik explaining such an amazing beautiful story with his red shirt and i think the answer will be red too brother sitter there is a person his name is the christian prince and he would he tried to make fun of the prophet beat up him and he the time he picked up a story where it said that the prophet allah he sent to him three angels and they cut his tet and actually this is the proven to be scientific correct how many of you heard that there is a person his heart is not functioning? So what we do? We do plastic surgery. And we install a resource inside the heart. And that will make regulation for the blood vessels. What Allah he did is exactly the same but in a higher standard. Allah he brought wisdom and faith. And today we use the same term with the silicon. Silicon is a very well-known made and very well-known material in the industry. Actually, in California, there is a library. It's called the Valley of Silicon. And if you don't believe me, go and search right now in Google. In the Valley of Silicon, every single female there see make plastic surgery because they have money. Now the Prophet, he got the advantage. He do not need to pay money for the surgery because Allah himself, he do it volunteer. And it was for free. And then he is the best ever surgeon he can do a surgery. So they cut his teeth and they install the death of wisdom. What the problem that? Great temperance, same on you. And you are stupid. And you cannot defeat them. And thank you very much. Okay. I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know. This guy, he just shut me up. Here we go. You wanted an answer? You get the answer. You got what you deserve. You're making fun of this story. How dare you? The prophet, he got a plastic surgery. And in this case, Allah did not install silicon. The silicon for Allah is faith and wisdom. The silicon of these days is silicon. And Zakir Naik obviously is being right. And Christian Prince refuted. Actually, not only he refuted, he got busted. Now, who is a Muslim here don't agree with Zakir Naik? And tell us what is behind this story. The dish of faith and the dish of wisdom. What is faith made from? Any Muslim? Could this stupid story be a mentor talking about a metaphor talking about internal no my friend this is about physical this is no muslim he can say to you this is a metaphorical this is a real story supposed to happen for real and even some muslim they say they saw the stitches in the chest of the prophet actually if you have my books you will find those reference all right so this is not a metaphorical story this is supposedly a real real story as the journey here supposedly later 
the angels, they took him to the seven heaven, 11, and the rest of the story is even funnier. So there is no Muslim can say this is a metaphorical story. Any Muslim can tell us what is faith made from so we can put it in the dishes? What is wisdom made from so we can put it in dishes? And what wisdom and faith has to do with his throat and his stomach? Islam understand that faith and wisdom is in the stomach. Any Muslim? This is what Islam really teach that wisdom and faith is something we put in our stomach. Just before I started my program, by the way, I went to the bathroom and what came out has nothing to do with wisdom. Without details, for sure. Since when, in which religion, in which God, in which teaching, in which book, that wisdom are something we put in our stomach and so is faith? And since when we have God who install wisdom in dishes to someone? Any Muslim? You see, very simple questions, very simple story, expose Islam to be a false cult. And by the way, if the Muslim they want to say to you that this is a, a, a weak hadith, this is a stupid story, not true, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, one of the most, this is the most authentic book after the Quran for the Muslims. And all the Muslims agree upon this story. And then after Muhammad, he have a surgery. The proof that Muhammad nothing changed after the surgery is the rest of the story. Because now Muhammad, he finished the surgery. Guys, this is a story mentioned by Muhammad after the surgery. Remember that. Right? So after the surgery, Muhammad, was he transformed to a wise man? Or he is a foolish man still? Read and laugh. After the surgery, here we go. And then with it, then he closed it. He closed the chest. And then he is candid with him to the heaven of the world. And he knock at one of the doors. In the heaven, there is doors and we knock at them. Hello. Hello. And guess what happened? After he look at the door, I mean, look, look at this story. After he look at the door, the dwellers of the heaven said, which means the one behind the door, who is this? Who is it? Who is it? Like, what the heck? I'm going to heaven and the angels, they are guarding the door of Allah. They cannot see who is behind the door. Okay, let me tell you something. There is something it's called ring camera. Simply, it's a camera you install in your door. Somebody knock at your door, you see him in the camera. Now, this is a story. Muhammad, he continued after the surgery. This is how wise he is. So he went to the seven heaven, and this is the first door. He knocked at the door. Who is this? And then, look at this. After they ask, Jibreel answer, he said, Jibreel, look, 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 look at this. I mean, this guy, he, you see the story here is really astonishing. Jibreel, even he did not give a last name. Like they said, who is this? He said, Jibreel, that's mean, that's it. You say Jibreel, that's mean you are known. Okay. How he is known, yet they are asking who is this?
the angels they have wings brother and now we have a door can they fly in the top of the door to see who's behind the door as as long jibreel he said jibreel that's mean he's known and jibreel supposedly he is in the one in charge of the secret of allah he is the highest angel for allah so how the angels do not know their boss and now after they say after he said who is this as you see and then jibreel he said jibreel okay hold on hold on what if i go right there no and i look at the door and they say who is this i will not say cp i will say jibreel oh boy now we know the password they said look at this story here how it's getting crazy they said who is accompanying you that's mean they can see him because how they knew that he had one somebody with him Okay, as long as they can see him, how they could not recognize that this is Jibreel. Jibreel is coming up, down, up, down, up, down. How many, how many times Jibreel he passed that door? Muslims, are you thinking with me? Oh, I, I forgot you don't think. You just curse. Sorry, I apologize. So he said Jibreel, and now... Jibreel suddenly is unknown person, at least by look, to the point he need to say, I am Jibreel. But look here, it's obvious they knew that they see him because they say, who is accompanying you? What does that mean? Either Muhammad was making noises to the point they heard that there is somebody with him, like farting or maybe his belly because he's digesting the wisdom which Allah he installed in his stomach. And then he said, Muhammad, what is that? The angel, they said, to the angels, Jibreel, he said to the angels, Muhammad, that's it. And the angels right away, they knew who's Muhammad. As long as they knew right away who's Muhammad, why are they asking who's this? They said, has he been called? Like the angels of Allah, they have no idea who is being called, who is not. They are in the door. I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid security? Imagine you have a guard in your door and he do not know who is coming to visit you and he is if he is called then he have appointment how come they do not know about the appointment that's mean that the kingdom of allah is not really organized even the angels in the door they do not know that muhammad is coming they were surprised like has he been called he said yes they said oh oh he is welcome welcome senor Oh, you know the story. This is in Tom and Jerry when his uncle come from Mexico. What does that mean? The uncle of, of, of Jerry is coming from Mexico playing with his guitar. And now he lose it and he take a hair from the mustache. So what do you mean he's welcome? A, sec a second ago, they have no idea who's he. A second ago, they do not know if he's, you know, he is he's called or not. A second ago, they have no idea who's who is even Jibreel. And now he's welcome. That's it. What if this guy is lying? Don't you check with Allah, call Allah, say, Allah, there's a guy in the door here. His name is Muhammad. Should he come? Welcome, not welcome. Let him go. Let him not to go. Do you have a clearance? You don't have a clearance. No, right away, they start singing for him. Oh, and Muhammad is welcome. I don't know, my friend. This is too much. I'm really too much. This is too much. I, I mean, myself, I cannot handle it. Can you handle it, Abdul? I don't know. I mean, I, you know, my brain cannot function this. I mean, it cannot digest this. You know, my brain is not big, you know, I mean, what it can do. And especially Allah did not install the dish of wisdom and, you know, in my chest or my, my stomach. So then the dwellers of the heaven became pleased with his arrival. So they start jumping, hey, 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 senor, hey, 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 senor. I mean, look at them, they are so happy now. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad here, Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad here. The angels are having party. I mean, come on, we have to be serious here. Are you kidding me? The Prophet himself is coming to the door of Allah and the angels will not have party? 
everybody drinking beer take beer take a beer this is what they say take a, you know take beer is take a beer by the way it's coming from the word take a beer and this is why the president may Allah bless his soul uh, the wise president of Qazafi he said that uh, Shakespeare was a Muslim and he said you know that all scientific discovery made by the Arab and all of you know that the word Shakespeare is coming from the word Sheikh Isber and he is an Arabian now me myself by the way I met Sheikh, Sheikh Isber and yes this is true Shakespeare is an Arabian and his real name is Sheikh Isber now you might think I'm joking this is what al Qazafi he said I'm not kidding he claimed that Shakespeare was an Arab and his real name is Sheikh Isper. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about the most smart, intelligent religion. Hmm. A Muslim, he cannot find something wise in his book, so he is quoting Jesus. He says, you know them from their fruit. <laughs> why your prophet, why your prophet, the one who have a plastic surgery, he did not say you know them from their fruits. Why you are quoting Jesus? Why you don't quote your prophet? You're a prophet, he said, you know them from their bowls. Do you want me to show you? Hmm? Why you are quoting Jesus? You know them from their fruits. Yes, you know them from their fruits. Your prophet is a child molester. That is the fruit of Muhammad. He is the same as those uh, priests, child molesters. They are Muslims like Muhammad. They are following the step of the prophet, obviously. You know them from their fr fruits. A person who put nears in the eyes of his enemy. A person who slaughtered his prisoners even after they surrender. A person who was accused of a sin and aware. A person who have desire to have sex with a child, she is an infant. You know them from their fruits. We agree. Now here, brother, after the dwellers of the heaven, they start having party. And they do not know what Allah would do to the prophet. Hold on. Here we have to stop. I mean, here, brothers, sisters, it's getting is getting really crazy stuff. Many of you, because you are limited in intelligence, and you know, I am an Arab, and we are Arab. Very, you know. By the way, we are the one who discover algebra too. And by the way, the one who discover algebra too is not even an Arab. He is a Sabi, an Aramaic. I mean, in the Middle East, when you go to school, anything happen in the world is made by us. Computer, we are the one discover the computer. I mean, you name it, anything, anything, huh? anything. And the Jews, they stole it from us. As an example, I will tell you a story. This is a true story. My cousin, personally, is the first one who discovered cars. He put the drawing of the car, he was doing poo, -poo in the bathroom. And he put it in the window. We have a neighbor, he is a Jew. He took it, and then he went, and he left away to America. And he made, made the first car, and he will go, they say that the first one made the car is a Jew. But in fact, it was my cousin, and he's an Arab. And this is the true story. If you don't believe me, Sahir Bukhari. Like yesterday, there's an atheist. He was posting a comment saying, if a Christian prince don't believe in science, so why he is using a cell phone? But he forgot that the one who made this first cell phone, it was a Jew. He believed in God, not an atheist. <laughs> anyway, let it go, let it go. Now here, by the way, why the Jews are so smart? The fact they are not, they are stealing from us, the Arab. A brother and sisters, okay, let me ask you. What is the best dish ever you ate hummus? Do you know that hummus is an Arabian dish? Even that is not Arabian dish, do you know that? Hummus, falafel, kashish, all of this is not Arabian. All of this is talking from the Aramaic, the people of uh, Syria and uh, Lebanon that have nothing to do or Iraq but specifically falafel and hummus is coming from that territory even the food is not Arabian our food is very simple Ajwa the prophet he said you see the prophet anything happened to you he have two medicine for you either honey or Ajwa what is Ajwa do you know what is Ajwa 
who knows what Ajwa is? My my stupid text is not switching my computer. I want to switch to Arabic. Hold on. I think I have a genie in my computer. The Prophet said, and for sure this is after the plastic surgery, the Prophet, he got this conclusion and this knowledge, which nobody had, especially at that time. Allah Apostle said, he who eats seven ajwa, which mean the fruits of the palm tree, every morning, he will not be affected by poison or black magic. Hmm. A brother here, you notice an extreme details of wisdom in this story. You see, I feel sorry for most of you because you are not educated like us, the Arab, and it's okay. I mean, it's not your fault. I mean, you are not born as an Arab, so what you can do? Look at this here. The Prophet, he did not only say you eat ajwa, and that will solve the problem. No, 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 no. He said you eat seven ajwa. Seven. Brother, uh, I'm typing seven in Arabic. I mean, how I can I switch now? Hey, my computer is messed up. Let us switch to English. Seven ajwa. So here, brother, you notice that there is a connection between the number and the material, and that is the core of mathematics. But for sure, you kufar, you will not understand. If you eat three, it's not going to work. If you eat four, it's not going to work. If you eat five, it's not going to work. If you eat seven, that is the perfect number. And if you eat eight, you die. And yet you are saying to me the prophet is not wise by the way the muslim they say to us there is a verse in the bible that says that if you drink poison that will not kill you the bible is not speaking about drinking poison literally because all of us we knew that jesus himself was killed so what poison will not kill you the bible is speaking about the poison of this earth no poison nobody can kill us even poison, which means we're always going to be alive with the Lord, which means they can kill our body, but they cannot destroy us. And there's tons of verses like that in the Bible. So you can destroy the body, but you cannot destroy the soul, and we are survived. This is why Jesus said, whoever die and believe in me will live. So Jesus himself was killed. The apostle of himself, they were killed. So obviously that verse is not about drinking poison. It's about nothing can kill us, for we are going to live forever. Here Muhammad is speaking literally about eating something physically exists. It's called ajwa, which is the palm tree date fruits. And if you eat seven of them, nothing can kill you. And here we find a very, very much proof of the story to be true statement of the prophet. A little search, we will find that the prophet himself was infected by poison. And he died by poison. I mean, isn't it weird? The guy who was giving us advice. How to survive, to survive uh, with a uh, poison. He himself, he died by poison. And he was infected by magic. According to Muslims, Prophet Muhammad, he was infected by black magic. Somebody took hair from somewhere, I don't know, his underarm, his pubic area, I'm not sure, you know. That is why, actually, you know, for me, I don't go to the barber shop. Imagine you go to the barber shop and those of those evil women, they get some of my hair. And then I find myself, what? Getting married. I'm like, what? Actually, I believe most of the men who they are getting married because there is a woman, she got some of your hair and she control you from far away. And now I understand why Brother Sam Shamoon, he have no hair at all. That is for security reason.
So brother here The Prophet said if you eat seven ajwa after the surgery This is after the surgery. He became wise If you eat seven ajwa, you will not be infected by poison or magic and then he himself they die by poison What's going on brother? Hmm? Any Muslim have a comment? By the way, how is my voice? Is my voice getting good? Because I I changed some of the uh, of the setup of my uh, control system. Let me know if the voice is coming good to you. Is it a little bit low? Is it high? Is it good? Not sexy. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> Thank God. It Once I receive an email from a Muslim, I used to give my email out. She said to me, so what if your voice is sexy? I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. And I was saying to myself, is that a proposal or so it's a message of hate? I mean, what? What? Actually, I made a video about it that day. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Uh, let me tell you the secret of uh, why my voice is nice. I eat ajwa. Seven ajwa every day. Not six, not eight. You eat seven ajwa, you will get perfect voice. Perfect health, and you will be perfect for the rest of your life. And even no poison can kill you. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim have your comment? Any comment? Any, anything you want to say? Hmm? Anyone remember the story where Muhammad, a guy, he came to him and he said to him, my brother, he is suffering in his stomach. The prophet said to him, go and tell him to drink honey. The guy, he come after a few days, he says he's getting more sick. The prophet says to him, I told you go and tell him to drink honey. He said, I told him he's getting more sick. He's, you know, he went and he came back after a few days and he told him he is getting more sick. He said, I told you tell him to drink more honey. So anyway, to make the story short, after many trips, the guy, obviously his brother is dying and mostly he have a diabetes. The prophet, he screamed at him and he said to him, your brother's stomach is lying and Allah, he told the truth. If anyone have the hadith post, please in the in the chat. Your brother's stomach is lying, and Allah told the truth. Okay. This is why I don't go and see doctors. What if I go to him three times and my stomach still in pain? He will scream at me and he says to me he will kill me. He might kill me. Almost the guy he can, and not not only that. In the hadith it says that the guy never come back again because his brother, he was recovered. What do you mean he will come back again? He will kill him. Muhammad, he screamed at him and he accused him that he is accusing Allah of lying. Why he would come back? So they say he, he was recovered. Yeah, obviously. Oh, here we go. Somebody posted the hadith. And by the way, this is a very, uh, very, uh, uh, brother. Uh, this is, uh, uh, <clears throat> I mean, this hadith is full of wisdom too. Any disease have you have just drink honey a man came to the Prophet and said my brother has some abominable trouble the Prophet said to him let him drink honey I mean look at this guys look how smart the Prophet he did not ask him what he feel just you know the, the pain there that's it the, the medicine is ready I mean the Prophet he did not need to Ask you questions like doctors or no, that's it. 
He told him where is the the problem. Muhammad right away he gave the answer. I mean, look how fast in second. Let him drink, honey. They come. The man come for the second time, and the prophet said to him, "Let him drink, honey." Which means the guy is not satisfied. It's not working. Let him drink, honey. The guy he come for the third time. The prophet said, "Let him drink, honey." <laughs> So excited to be a doctor. Any come, anyone come to me, I will tell him drink honey. Anyone, right? You do not need to. Uh, I mean, just to, to, to open a clinic, make good money. And do you know how much doctors they make these days? Anyone come to your door, give him honey. He have diabetes. He will die from it. He will lose his vision. He, it, who care? <clears throat> There's a guy. He is trying to call me. I think he's just a kid, but we will see. Give him a chance. Maybe he's a kid. So what? Just for fun. <clears throat> My mic is making noise. Now it's better. <laughs> yes, Abdul. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you? Hello. 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 We heard you. Hello. Hmm. Hello. I hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? Hey, come on, don't tell me you don't hear me. Hello? 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 Okay, do you hear me or not? Okay, hold on, hold on. It says my microphone is muted. Maybe from my side, hold on. My microphone. One, two, one, two. Why my microphone is muted? One, two, one, two. One, one, one. Let us see. I will restart my Skype for some reason. I think it's I think it's not from his side. I think it's from my side. Let us see. Yeah, I think there is a problem in Skype. Okay, you see the sound here is not working. Why? That's weird. Hey guys, do you hear me in the, in the chat? Is my voice coming to you? Is my voice coming? Okay, so this is only in Skype. Okay, hold on. Yeah, for some reason here, Skype is not, my mic is not moving. It says, okay, let's see here. One, two, one, two. Hold on, hold on, don't call me. Okay, now it's working. I think now it's working. Hello? Hello. Yes, you hear me now? You don't hear me. Hello. Okay, I don't think this is. A, I think uh, because did it, didn't we receive a call from a guy before and the, he talk? Do you hear me or not? Do you hear me or not? Hello. Okay. Do you hear me? Hello. Do you hear me? All right. 
Hello, 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 hello. I mean, why it's not working? Mm. Let me do a mic test. Mic test. You see here, I don't see my mic um, scale at all. <clears throat> Hello, 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 no, it's not working. I don't see it working. Hello, 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 no, nothing working too. What is that? No, no, I think I have a problem from my, from my side maybe. Do you hear me now? Hello? Do you hear me? I do. Do you hear me? Okay, hold on. Don't call me. Don't call me now. Hold on. He's saying to me, hiding. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Let us see what the problem. If we switch to built-in microphone, still there's no sound. Why? Um, hmm. Let us see, I will make a free test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. A man came to the prophet and he said, my brother has uh, some trouble. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. Okay, I heard if nothing. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, something is wrong with your audio recording. Okay, setting. okay, thank you, thank Please you. Please check your microphone and microphone settings or visit Skype.com for more help. Thank you for using the Skype call testing service. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, let's see here. Maybe we need to fix something here. I don't know. One, two, one, two. I mean, I tried it before we start, actually. It was working. <clears throat> Nothing. And if I restart my computer, that will make me lose my broadcast. I'm not sure. And I restarted already Skype twice. Let us do it one more time. Quit Skype. Don't call me now. Hold, hold on. Uh, trying to figure out what's happening. Don't call me, Abdul. Why are you calling? Why are you trying? Do you hear me? Hello? Yeah, do you hear me? Hello? Do you hear me? Okay, now I think you hear me, no? I'm good, but I can't hear you at all. Uh, turn your turn, turn your camera off. You can't hear me. Can, can you hear me? Hey, I do hear you, but you don't hear, hear me. me. Let me try again. No, don't call. Don't call. Just wait. I'm not sure really what happened. What happened? Here? Don't call me. Don't call me. Just don't go. Wait. Uh, we will put it in don't disturb until we fix it. Anyone have an idea? You see, I'm changing here my microphone sitting, but still I see nothing. 
Here we go. This is the microphone. You see, I'm talking. There's no sound. I changed to the other microphone. Still, there's no sound. Hmm. You see here, the scale should be on. Default device, still nothing. I don't know. That's not normal. I'm talking, but there's no... And the speaker is all the way up, you know? Still, there's no sound in the microphone. Mm. I'm not sure. Or well, maybe we have no luck for today, what I can say. Uh, it was fixed. It was fixed. It was fixed. Hello. You hear me now? Hello. You do, do you hear me now? Hello? Do you hear me? Hello? Do you hear me or no? Hello, hello, hello. Either he's playing. Can somebody else call me? Can somebody else call me just to see if this is just only a guy he's playing games? Because we got a caller before him, right? It was working fine. We have somebody before him. He called. Hello? Hello, CP. Can you hear me? Yeah, I do. Do you hear me? All right. I can't hear you. Uh, so it's uh, okay. So it's obvious something with your about, settings. I can't now? hear you at all. What about now? No? Mic check. No? Yeah, something with your settings. Something with my setting. Hmm. Jesus Akbar. Okay, hold on. Let us see what we change in the setting. And mute. I mean, the setting is very simple, so why is it not going to work? There's nothing there. I mean, just one, two, one, two, you know, nothing else. I mean, why in the world this thing will not work? What setting? I mean, there's only, you choose the microphone, and there's two microphones to choose it from. None of them is working. I'm not sure. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Do you hear me, CP? I do hear you. It looks like you still. You know. I'm just checking the sound. I can't hear you. It says here microphone is muted, but why it's muted? Okay, do you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, now I, I can hear you. Now. You hear me now? Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, good. It's okay, good. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thanks. Let us call the Abdul. Finally, look like it was um, yeah, somehow the microphone is muted. <clears throat> We're calling the Abdul. Now. Hello? Yes, Abdul, how are you? Yes. So what do you want to say me? to us, Abdul? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Hero? Uh, I'm not a hero at all. You're not a hero. What do you are? You say to me you are running, blah, blah, blah. I mean, let us see why I'm running. Look like you are a hero. So what do you want to say about what we showed you today? Your prophet receiving what, what? plastic surgery. They cut his chest. They install a dish of wisdom, a dish of faith. What do you say about that? Uh, what, what, uh, wait, wait, what's the source for that? Uh, I don't know. This is an Islamic source. This is the book. It's called Tom Thompson Cherry. No, Tom. It's something. I don't know. That, I don't know. What do you think about the story? I, you, so you are listening to me all this time. You do not know what we are talking about. 
No, I've been listening to you, but, okay, so but what's the source all for that? this time you did not ask yourself what he is reading. No, but so why you are calling it, me it, if you do not that... know if you do not know what I'm talking about? Why you are calling me? I know what you're talking about, okay, but the so thing is that you're give me, you're, give me, you're okay. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. Can, what can do you think about your prophet saying he received he received a dish of wisdom, a dish of faith, no, and but... install it in his chest? Oh God! But don't move me into a tunnel. Why are you move me into a tunnel for, in order for you to answer me? Don't don't do that. That's that? what, that's what, not a proper debate. That's what? not a proper debate. Let, let's what? debate properly, like men. You want to be a man. You no, want to be I, a man. I, it's, a, it's, you, my, it's my dream you, to be a do, man. This do you want I, to debate me like a man? Do you want to debate no, me like I a man? No, I can debate you as a man. No, I, I can debate you as Jibril, and you are a human. If you want to debate me like a man, let's do it like a man. We are from, not from the uh, same don't clan. Don't tunnel me into you are a corner. A human. You're, you're, you're this a human. is not, this my is not name, a debate. My name is Tony. This you are is a not human. a debate. This is Jibreel. fake. Now listen, are you going to answer this or not? Fake. What kind of a prophet? He receive a dish of wisdom, a dish of faith. Okay. And and what's the source for that? Uh, this is the Eif Hadith. No, it's it's say Hadith. It's a Sahih hadith. So you know the source. Okay, guys, look at this. Yeah, at this. I know the source. You know it's Sahih. Yeah, you know, know the source. source. So why are you asking yeah, yeah. me what the source of that? Are you are you, are you, are you playing games? You cannot play do, games with the Christian. Do, you cannot play games okay. with the Christian. Hey, I got you busted. So you know the source. Uh, you know it is so Sahih. So Yet you are asking me what is the source. You are a kid. <laughs> you said to me, it talk like a man. But I'm not a kid. Like I'm so, not a kid. So now I'm answer. not a kid. You know the source. You know it is Sahih. Everybody heard you saying that. This is Sahih. You said that. Okay, okay. Now answer me. Why Allah receive? Calm down. Okay. We are having Calm fun. I'm coming down. I'm having fun. We are excited. Fun as well. Finally, we have a turkey. Man, I'm, Th finally, I'm we have a turkey well. for Thanksgiving Day. Now, are you I going to answer? Are you, going, with you. are you going to I, answer? I want a proper. I want a proper conversation with you. No problem. And I we don't want one. you to tunnel me into one corner friend, or the other corner. I'm listening. Why are you a proper conversation with you? Okay. 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 How do we go? I'll give you. I will give you the mic. Okay. Give me a second. Let's go. Give me. Give me a second. Just thirty seconds. I will give you the question. You answer, please. Okay. You only give me. You only give me. You're only going to give me thirty seconds. That's no, it. No, no, thirty seconds for me. That's all I get. Thirty seconds for me. Thirty seconds for me. Can you? Okay, you you, you, you go first. Okay. Thirty seconds. So, Your what seconds. kind of God? Go. What kind of God? Go. He need to send a dish of shish kebab or dish of of wisdom and dish of faith in store in the prophet. And what is the purpose of this surgery? The mic is yours. Okay, but uh, what what's the source for this? That's the the first thing I would ask is what's the source for this, and the second thing I would say is that. Uh, don't let CP like uh, uh, delude you into thinking that this is Islam. This is not Islam. Like what he's doing is he he's nitpicking certain hadiths and certain things um, um, to um, uh, to back up his argument, which is which is not correct. It's it's not it's not it's not right. You have in in Christianity. We have many, many, many different things. Many, what is many, the many Here different. We go. You said, you said, you exactly said to me, you said to me, like give that. me time to answer. And now you start to blah, 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 talking about things that have nothing to do with oh, our okay. topic. Okay, okay, so okay. You, you go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. First Fine. of all, you are the one who said to me, "This is Sahih Hadith." Correct? Is, is it say? I don't know. You, I don't know. You, you are the you one who said to me it's Sahih. I don't know. You tell me. Is it Sahih or it, it's probably weak? say? If, you, if if you're bringing it up, it's probably say. Because hmm. I know you. What, what uh, you, you, you only deal with like say say hadith, but the thing is with me, right? Oh, so only I'm, I bring sahih I, hadith. Thank you very much. Okay, now this is sahih yeah, al-Bukhari. Yeah, you do, okay, you do. Okay, this is sahih al-Bukhari. But I don't need to accept all say okay. hadith. Right. Every hadith has a chain of has has a chain of narration. No problem. You need to understand you see, that. This is, the, this is the joke. Every I don't... hadith no, this has is, a chain of narration. Okay, show and me. You okay, need show me one reference. Hold on. Hold on. Stop being silly. Stop being silly. Be a man. You are the one who said. Be a man. Okay, show me one reference saying that this hadith is weak. Show me one reference says that this hadith is not sahih. I'm not saying that maybe the, the hadith is sahih. So how but is it, I, I don't so need to accept it, sahih, it as a Muslim. But it have a problem maybe, with the chain of reference. Maybe it's sahih, but, but do I need to you accept know, it as a Muslim? Sahih? I mean, yes, you have to accept it. it. Okay. You have it, to accept if it. If I don't accept it, if I don't accept it, does it not make me a Muslim? Okay, yes, it doesn't. doesn't Because your prophet, he says you have to follow him in, it, in two things. Let me, let me ask you a question, CB. Very simple. 
if I don't accept this hadith, does it not make me a Muslim? Yes, does not. Because, yes, because, or no? yes, yes or no? Yes, yes, yes or no? Yes or no? For you, for yes, you, yes you or no? If I don't accept the you hadith, which is say, does it make me a non-Muslim? Yes, does it are, make me a non-Muslim? Yes, you are not, because the Prophet he said so. So you have to believe what he said so. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, that, that's, so you that's are saying that, to me. That, so you are saying to me. You no, believe no, your I'm prophet sorry. is a liar, if, and if you, there you is, will not believe. If there is a hadith, if there is a hadith, even if it's say hadith, mm -hmm. and if I don't accept that hadith, mm -hmm. I do not need to accept all say hadith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do not need who, to accept who, all say who, hadith. Who is, who is the scholar who said to you you do not need to accept? Why do you need to revert back to scholars? Do you know what Sahih means? Do you know what Sahih means? Do you know what Sahih means? Let's look at my ideology. Let's look at Islam and let's look at Christianity. That's it. Why do you need to do this complicated? It's so simple, my friend. It's so simple. Hold on, hold on. Make it simple for yourself, my friend. Life will be so much easier for you. Do you accept the Quran? I accept the Quran. Okay, the Quran says that Allah He did plastic surgery to Muhammad. Show me. It's in the front of you. Uh, I can't see it because I'm on phone. But show me. T tell me. Tell me. I I trust you. Don't worry. I trust you. you. Trust me. Okay. Tell me. Chapter ninety four, mm -hmm. verse number one. And what does it say? It says we did the plastic surgery to your breast. We expanded your breast. Read it. No, uh, tell, me, tell me the it says, uh, uh, this one says, it says, haven't we expanded your breast? So why not? What do you mean? Okay, tell, me, tell me, what does that mean? Allah, he expanded the breast. No, no, tell me, this is Quran. This is Quran. Tell me what expanded the breast of Muhammad mean. Mate, what, what you need to realize, you need to not take everything so literal. My friend, if we don't took tell me, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. My friend, it's not, I am not my your friend. friend. And don't call me again. You are just a kid. I thought you are a man, but you turn a cat like the cat. You give me her picture. This is the cat he sent me in his in his. Uh, you know, this is his cat, Abu Huraira. Because the prophet he said that cats are clean, so he believed it, and he said he don't believe in every hadith. You are a liar. But because this hadith is very embarrassing to you, you don't want to believe in it, and this is the whole story. How it is sahih, and you don't want to believe in it. Sahih means it's accurate. It's mean the prophet said it. Shame on you. You are just a joke. But I understand. If I am in your place, I will deny everything about Islam, and I will leave Islam. Stay with your cat. And don't claim that you are a tiger. You are just a cat. That's why you have a friend is a cat. You are a man, but your friend is a cat. I mean, even girls don't have cats these days. Christian Prince is running away from me. It does not take me even 30 seconds to make you shish kebab. The Quran confirmed the Hadith and the Hadith confirmed the Quran. It says here, the whole story, that we expanded your breast and we take their burden. And this is what the story says. And the burden was breaking the, the back of Muhammad. How he did that? He made a surgery for him. And this is a Sahih Hadith. How you can say to me, I believe, I trust that you are posting a Sahih Hadith, and you say to me, I don't believe, to believe in it. It's Sahih. The second you say Sahih, it's me correct. Look like you don't even know what Sahih means. The funny he said it's Sahih. The second you say it's Sahih, it's mean you accept it. And what makes it funny, he says, do I have to accept every Sahih Hadith? Yes, you have, because you just call it Sahih. Sahih means correct. Those either do not know even what the word Sahih mean. Very embarrassing story. Stupid story. And because it's stupid, and he have to admit, he, 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 why he refused to accept it? Do you know why? It's very simple. It's stupid. As simple as that. His brain cannot accept such a stupidity. So what he do? He said, I will not accept it. Okay, go in denial, but you cannot fool yourself. For how long you will fool yourself? Guys, was his voice and my voice good? Because we are trying to fix this Skype thing.
was bo both our voice coming fine at the same time but usually the color his voice is high and my voice is down was it better why you are calling me again Alex why Abdul Muhammad why you are calling me you said you didn't accept it. so what we will talk about how I can help you uh, we're gonna talk about the uh, Islam and what's your problem with Islam I don't have problem with Islam it's funny it's, do you see I have a problem I'm, I'm having fun what's your, what's your problem is Islam not the truth for sure it's the truth in a God who gave me a penis endless I mean this is the truth I mean you are you are six foot tall but your your penis is endless I mean that's fun yeah and you get that from uh, from the hadith yes you don't get that from the okay, Quran, what, do okay, what about the Quran you want me to go to the Quran only you want to switch Quran let's only? go to the Quran okay. Quran only all right here we go Quran only I want you to choose for me a chapter you think or you you know what I'm not going to question you I have a challenge for you you ask okay. me to ask you a question you ask me okay to ask you a question and the question you ask me I will ask you and I challenge you to answer the question how about that? What's the question? You tell me the question. I challenge you to ask to answer the question you asked me to ask you. Which is about Islam. What about Islam? What's wrong with you? I just said I have a challenge for you. You give me okay. a question. You say, Hey Christian Prince, ask me this question, and I <sighs> challenge you to answer the question you gave me to ask you. The, How okay, simple is that? The, 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 the Quran is infallible. In, what does that mean? <clears throat> means that there's no errors in the Quran unlike the Bible okay guys there's no errors in the Quran did he say that did he say that okay yes I did all right we will go and see the error in the Quran where is this the where is the hail is coming from where is the what coming from the hail the hail you know the hail the ice the hail the hail where is the hail coming from the hair or the ice hail, the, hail, the hail the hail I hail is ice coming as rain from the sky Oh hell not hell hail I don't know what you mean like hell stones or like rain or like what? ice 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 coming from the sky as rain you know what is that ice ice coming from the rain is it's rain no, and this is also in the Quran as well okay where in the Quran we find the story uh, you want me to find it for you I'm on my phone but I can find it for you if you want okay, but I will the, find the, the story no problem the, okay. the, the Quran is infallible my friend okay, infallible infallible okay in chapter 24 Absolutely in chapter infallible. 24 verse number 30 43 it says that Allah he sent hail down from mountains in the sky what do you say about that uh wait, what what's the verse and the surah 24 43 okay and what does it say it says that Allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven okay mm. what's wrong with that what do you mean what's wrong with that and you must then you try to hide it and you try try to fabricate the translation we're not fabricating or okay. hiding well, explain anything to me what's wrong with that? What do you mean so you believe that there's mountain of hail in heaven and Allah he break hail ice and he throw it at us no, it's how you have interpreted the verse. I am not. The it's verse is not am, supposed to be interpreted like that. I am, not giving, like I am that. not giving interpretation. You're interpreting it am not with, giving, a negative, okay, with, a, with a negative what mindset. What That's interpretation why. you like me to show you? Guys, did he say this is how you interpret the verse? Okay, let us go to the Islamic interpretation. What do you say? Is that fine? That's fine. Let's do that. All right. Let us do that. In a second, he will say he don't accept it. Just wait. Count my words. We, we can count your words. Okay. CP. Chapter 24, but, verse but, number 43. Your, your, chapter, your 20, hold on. chapter 24, verse your number 43. In the front of everybody. Here we go. Chapter 24. Okay, wait, wait. Let, let, let me put this up. Let me put you on loud speaker. Let me check my phone. Just hold on mm. one second, okay? Let me no because I want to make sure I, I don't want any lies going on about Islam, okay? Because no, I love Islam. You love Islam, very okay. Much. What I, I love Zuchini yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I, do. I love Hummus. Okay. I love Islam. All right. Do, 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 do you love Fatush? I love Fatush, so, so the Prophet Fatush is very well known. Now answer me. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is Tafsir. What about, this is Tafsir al Jalalain? I want you to read for me, please. What 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 about Hamus? My you friend, like don't change the topic. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Your religion is Hamus okay, Falafel. This is what it is. Wait, I'm not you a last speaker. Just hold on one second. Mm. It's better no, if you I use can't. the headphones, so we will not have double sound coming back. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool. So where uh, where I'm, what the Quran saying? And he sent down from heaven out of mountains. Out of mountains. Okay. Which is in heaven. He sent what? He sent hail. How you explain that to us? Say say again. He sent Allah, he sent down from heaven out of mountains in heaven. Mm -hmm. He sent mm -hmm. hail and he strike it with us. Do you believe in that? So so listen, CP, like what you what you can't understand is that Quran is a book for all of mankind. Yes, it's a uh, for, for, all, for all mankind, for the silly one. I don't change the topic. That's not the question. You said to me, Quran has no, no, no errors. I'm, you said to me, Quran has you. no errors. I just, I, I am the one who asked you. Ask me the question. I said to you, mate, I challenge you to mate, answer the question mate, you asked me. Okay, now mate. you gave me the answer yeah, to the question. So, so what kind of God, what kind of God, who sent the book for all mankind, he said that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I love you. Don't make a show. Don't make a show. Don't make a show for your people. I'm just trying to answer you. Don't make a show of your viewers. I'm just trying to answer you. With love. With love. Uh, CP, stop talking. Don't waste my we time. Love, okay? don't, don't waste my time. Answer I've the question. Waste my time. I'm talking to you honestly. Okay. If you want to talk, uh, like, honestly, I'm just talking to you. Like, uh, the, the Quran is a. Uh, is, uh, uh, you must understand. Not my topic. Not my topic. Not my topic. Don't my give me a speech. Agent. Answer the question. What kind of what's God he sent hell from mountains? This is the question. question. What's your question? No, you're asking me what the question. I said to you, hail coming from mountains. No, and now you show no. you said to me, show me the interpretation. Me. Now I show you the interpretation. Now you don't want to answer. What's wrong with you? What kind of God? This is your interpretation. You said to me, you are giving a wrong interpretation. It is not my interpretation. This is your scholar, this is your Islamic website. It says that Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven. Now the answer from you, what kind of God he says such a stupid thing? What's wrong with that? Get lost. It, it. Get lost. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what I would say to him more than get lost if we arrive to the point saying what's wrong with that there's nothing to talk about hail is coming from mountains in heaven and what's wrong with that that's it we're done so you admit what's wrong with that so first he tried to play the game I don't accept the hadith show me Quran then we show him Quran then he said you have a wrong interpretation then we show him his Islamic interpretation and then he agree what's wrong with that brother sister our God he have mountains of ice and brother if you want any time ice for your party just call Allah he break ice for you and he tend it to your house. <laughs> and what's wrong with what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I mean, why you are stupid? Why? And if you guys, if you see the text of this guy, you think this guy is a hero. He will go and destroy Christian Prince. He will smash him pieces. my mic mic is lower than the caller mic for a couple of days what about now still my mic is lower than the caller is my mic still lower than the caller when he called it's good okay that's good I don't know what to do anyway guys I'm not going to stare you long but as you see this is a stupid cult I mean how in the world a human being but but because they are it's embarrassing the Muslim he go in stages first he say oh I don't accept the story so then, suddenly he became selective in his religion the story is embarrassing so we say we don't this is the only way to comfort It's like drugs you know so you don't want to agree that you are sick so you take drugs and you say oh I don't feel anything but the fact you are sick Taking drugs to convert your pain will not change the fact that there is a sickness. So this is what he do. He try being playing the game of being selective. First they play the game, they say to you, this is weak. 
then we show them that this is not weak a week by the way is accepted still even the weak hadith is accepted this is why it's called weak it's called weak because it has a rank it's not rejected otherwise they will not call it weak weak mean the story weak there's no enough proof to reject it or there's no enough proof to confirm it 100 as simple as that but most likely it's close to be correct more than it's rejected this is why they give it a rank and they don't reject and then we show them what is absolutely approved to be correct still they say i will not accept the story why because now this is very embarrassing and my prophet looks so silly and so stupid so what i will do i will say i don't accept it and that will avoid me from being tortured by a stupid cult people making fun of me for believing in such a garbage there is no way anyone he have little brain he will believe in such a story but this story was accepted for centuries and centuries and today because nobody will believe in such a story Muhammad he mentioned they don't want to believe in the story This is the whole idea. Guys, if you don't hear me, refresh your uh, YouTube. Maybe you have a problem in your, uh, your side. My voice volume now is low. I think people, they have different internet and based on their internet, they are hearing me what I said maybe 15 minutes ago. If you have a slow internet, maybe you are hearing something I said a minute ago anyway anyway guys um we are going to be done for today uh, don't forget please to download the video my videos don't stay here for long um always to find the video do the following like what is the title today for this video the title is live debate Islamic ethic go to the filter in YouTube search for the same title in the last 24 hours and you will find people posting the exact same video all right so don't complain about my videos don't stay in my page they are there or what you need to do search for the same title and then when you go to a page they are posting my videos please subscribe to them because that, now you know where you can find my uh, uh, there's many of them there's a, a, a person, his name is Pin, a person, his name is Revelation, a person, his name, uh, Christian Prince Debate. Uh, I mean, there is many of them. Subscribe, you will lose nothing. Support them. They deserve your support. And still, you can get the video, which you need to hear. And you can download too. I mean, why only then they are downloading? Make your own channel. Get subscribers. Right? My friend. Islam is the most silly, stupid cult. If you don't speak Arabic, they say to you, you do not know Arabic. If you know Arabic, they say to you, you have a wrong understanding. If, if you show them their, their understanding, they say to you, we don't accept that understanding. You show them a hadith, it's accurate. They say it's accurate, but they don't accept it. Which means we are praying a cat and a rat game. Tom and Jerry. I will cover myself in oil so you cannot hold me. This is the whole game. But if you think you escaped now, you know, you did not because everybody is laughing. If you think you did defend Islam by saying, I don't accept, you made Islam look stupid. This is your prophet speaking. And then you say, I don't accept. So you accept who exactly? You don't accept him to be a prophet? Obviously, you don't. We show you the Quran. And guys, how funny it is to say to a Muslim, I challenge you to ask me a question, to ask me to ask you a question. And the question you asked me to ask you, I challenge you to answer it. I mean, how silly is that? I told him, give me the question you like me to ask you. He chose it. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Yeah, I know, I know. In Mer in Malaysia, they are they are jailing people to because they insult Islam. But my friend, don't worry, don't worry. They can sh they can mute mouths in in that country. But people they are leaving Islam anyway. You see, this is one of the clear signs of the weakness and how Islam is so weak. 
because if Islam is strong, here we go. People they say even the F word to Jesus. We don't kill them. We don't kill them. We don't go after them. We are who we are, and we are victorious. Islam is protected by violence, and even they make law to mute the ones who they are speaking the truth. That because Islam is weak and cannot defend itself. If Islam is a wonderful religion, it's the truth. I mean, who cares if somebody says something? Nobody will listen to him anyway. But because they knew that those questions are very serious and they are going to go and do a big damage for such a cult. So what we do, we put those who speak against it in jail for Islam is a false cult. All dictators, they have the same mentality. I am the only one can speak and the rest have to die. And that is Muhammad. The Bible says if somebody you preach to them the gospel and they don't accept, clean the dust of their town from your sandals and walk away. It doesn't say go and kill them. Just go. Don't throw your jewels. So let who want to accept, accept. Let who want to believe, believe. Let who want to don't want to believe, don't believe. What's your problem? No, Islam is a cult based on violence and gang system and mafia. Either you are with us or we kill you. And this is why Islam is losing. If I show you guys in the Middle East how many people leave Islam, you will not believe it. If I show you scholars, they are making fun of Islam these days. Scholars. Muslim scholars with big hat in their head. The world is a changing and the internet is breaking Islam pieces. The Muslims for a long time, they thought they can use the internet. You know, they flood the internet with videos, scientific miracle of the Quran. And then people, those scientific miracle of the Quran, not only help us to understand that Islam is a big fat lie, but made us to understand that we cannot trust Muslims presenting Islam to us. Because if somebody is a believer in God and his God is a true God, why you need to fabricate a lie claiming that this verse is stating miracle or sign of science? When the Quran is a book of dumb. When the verse does not say that, obviously because you know that you, it's false. So because your God is false, you accept to be false too. A good believing person, he will not accept to lie to defend his cult or to make his cult acceptable. And this is why I have a book, you know, my books, actually both of them, Deception of Allah and Quran and Science and Depth, both of them, they refute all what they, what they call it scientific science, which I find hilarious. If you have my book, the second book, like Quran and Science and Depth, you will find that really how crazy it is even to believe in such a garbage. Quran and Science. Quran. Since when? If you have my books, you will go crazy when you see how silly it is. And by the way, our translation for the Spanish book is done. It's just taking time to make it ready. But the Spanish book, the first time we have a Spanish book, thanks to God and thanks for the person who did this uh, uh, beautiful work. Uh, 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 we hope that soon is going to be out. And this is a translation for the first book, which is the deception of Allah in Spanish. Soon the Spanish will be able to have my book and they will be able to read it in their own language, which is fantastic. And now the same person is working and translating to Portuguese or Portuguese. And I'm very thankful for many people who they are downloading my videos, adding subtitle, adding translation for many languages, especially to a country like Indonesia, the biggest Islamic country in the world. People are leaving Islam in Indonesia, left and right. And one of the reasons is my videos. Those people, they are thirsty for the truth. And the truth will set you free, my friend. This is the, Lord. This is the wisdom of my Lord and no wisdom better than that. They can speak, they can shout, they can scream, they can threat, but they cannot 
silence the truth the truth will set you free and this is why jesus he said i am the truth and the muslim they say to us where jesus say i'm god one of the names of allah is the truth because he's trying to copy jesus which means nobody can say i am the truth save god and yet the muslim they say to you where jesus says i'm god i am the truth i am the life i am the resurrection resurrection i am the alpha i am the omega i am the beginning i am the end i am he before abraham i am and yet you will find the silly abdul saying to me show me one verse where jesus says i am god worship me and my friend we don't worship jesus just because he said i am god we worship him for he is find me someone better than jesus to worship jesus said from their fruits you shall know them not from their names anyone can say i'm god worship me that will not make him god give me a fruit like the fruits of jesus and then i worship someone else give me someone he can resurrect people from death Somebody can heal the blind, somebody he can heal any disease, somebody he have control over nature, and somebody he is extremely decent to the point he is pure, as the Quran called him in chapter 19, verse 19. We are Christians, for we have no better than Christ. As simple as that, the end of the debate. And those who deny him, look at your date and your watch and your clock you will find that even your date your health your salary is paid by numbers have to do with the christ that is the date of christ his name is a glory and he is almighty god and we worship him thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all and i will see you soon again christ is lord islam is false and thank you very much